all right guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to paint this little man if you missed it there's a video just on its own of carving this little fella here but today we're just gonna paint him up and finish him the way that i finish him now you say doug you already have videos on painting and finishing yes i do but i keep doing things differently so until i keep doing things the same we'll just keep making videos on how i do things differently <laughs> So let's get spin around here and uh, let's get this guy painted up. I actually have a few little guys that I'm going to put linseed oil on with this fella. So first thing I'm going to do is get this stuff out of the way. Get down some paper towel so I can throw it away. And I've got uh, get some linseed oil here. And I got a dirty old brush that I keep in some thinners here. All right. So... It's a beautiful thing, too. Look at that. Ugh. All right. So all we're going to do is get this sticky old jar open and just start laying it on. All right. Just paint it on. You can do a quick dunk, too, and uh, wipe it off, but... I like a, I like to brush it on. Throwing it all over the place. I'm going to be doing some experiments on the Wednesday night uh, lives, on uh, different oils that we can use to, uh, to do this with. But really, all this is doing is it, it's kind of sealing it, so that it gives it a nice even coat of paint, and the paint doesn't get wicked in super fast. I can do the bottom too. All right. Now you don't have to let this dry overnight or anything. I'm just going to let that soak in. Maybe I'll give it a few minutes. Probably while I do all the rest of these things. I'm going to uh, let that one sit. These I'm not going to paint tonight. I'm only going to paint the man. But uh, might as well do them while I got this out. So like I said, I'm just going to let that soak in. I'm just going to pat it dry and uh, start painting. But if I didn't want to do it right away, it would be fine tomorrow. For instance, this guy has already been done and he's ready for paint anytime. All right. So dry is fine too. And just uh, a little bit wet is okay too. You don't want it dripping wet, but. All right. So I'm going to do these men and then uh, I'll come back to you. See that? Nice and dry. Not dry, but it's not wet either. Okay, it's only been about 10 minutes max. So we're done with our linseed oil, so we're going to dispose of our, our rags right away properly. And that, for me, that just means throwing them in the wood stove. But uh, for you, that may be something totally different, but don't leave them crumpled up in a ball. I'm going to use some uh, parchment on the eyes. I don't like to, uh, I don't like to uh, use a white. I always like to go with an off-white, so... I'm just going to put a coat on the eyeballs because I always do them first because they're going to take about three different uh, three different paints before we're done with the uh, iris and pupil and whatnot. So all right, so there we go. Okay. I'll put on this a little bit heavier now. All right, that's about it. There you go. Now, I wish I could tell you who I saw doing this, but I'm using a little piece of plexiglass here and just putting one little drop of paint on it. Oh, one big drop of paint. But all I'm going to do is take a brush here and uh, I'm going to put the red, I'm going to put the, his shirt red right in between the, the jacket. So I'm going to just add some water beside here. I'm just going to pull the red into it. You see that? Just pulling the red into the water. Still a lot of wasted paint for what I'm using, but 
going to put it right down on this shirt here. Got some on the uh, pants already. That's why I keep a knife handy, too. I got a little bit of red on there. I'm just going to slice that off of there. Gone. Why do I, I put it on everything? A little slice. All gone. All right. Red shirt. We're going to give him some brown shoes. So, again, just a drop. A proper drop. And uh, got my paintbrush here. And just put it beside... Just pull some brown into it. Really wet it down. We're going for more of a tan look. Alright. I think we'll we'll keep the soles black so we'll avoid them. Alright. And you don't have to watch me do the whole thing, but tan shoe. See, I, I did both shoes here, but I got thinking about that color, and I kind of like that color for his hair. So I'm going to mix it up a little bit more. We're just going to go ahead and do his hair. That's a good color for hair. And we can always uh, dry brush a little bit of highlights on it after, if need be. But, but yeah, that's going to work out. And I really like this style of painting. I used to always measure the drops into a, a little thing like that. But, uh, yeah, this is much easier to clean up. And we're using so little paint. I always would mix too much paint in those trays. This, barely anything. down the part and now you'll notice too normally if that wasn't oiled the top of that head would just be like just twice as dark as the sides because it's the end grain but that oil just kind of keeps it all a little bit even it may be a little bit darker but uh, that's just because it is end grain but it's not soaking it in like it would without a little bit of a seal in there all right but there's our hair I'll paint it up. So I think we're going to do the uh, the jacket and then we'll save the blue jeans. I like to do the darker color around the light colors so that if I slop light colors over on the dark, the dark will cover. All right. Mm -hmm. But I think we're going to give the, uh, going to give the uh, jacket a tan color. All right. Some snots on there. There we go. Nice tan jacket. Uh-oh. Turn your phone off next time. Of course, I'm not going to make you watch me paint the whole jacket, but we'll do this front side of one side. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then I'm going to shut my phone off. I promise. There you go, one tan jacket. Looking pretty sharp. With our jacket all done here, we know that our eyes need a couple more things to them, so I got some blue here, and I'm just going to 
paint some blue on each side. Fairly big. We're going to add a, uh, a black spot on the center too. Alright, I'll make sure they're kind of look the same. Now we give that time to dry. And we'll go ahead and do something else. Alright. So let's take a different blue and we'll go on the, the pants here. Same idea with the little drop on the poly there. Bring some water over to it. Just pull some of that paint in. Alright. Now this paint around. And I can see right there it's paint on my thumb. I'm gonna get rid of that. Right now, before I go rubbing it all over the carving, because I've done that many times. <laughs> keep your fingers clean and keep your carving clean. All right. go around make sure I got everything but uh, I think that's it blue jeans you take some black again put a little drop of black on there I'm going to take my fine brush again I'm gonna put the black just on the half of that eyeball all right This little oh, I like that. That's all we did. Okay, but now that we got that there, let's put some water with that black. And we'll do the soles here. Actually, I'm use a bigger brush. Let's paint up these soles here. Just trying to get right, get right into that little, little crack there, the little V cut that I made. shoes. Now I'm going to take some of this burnt umber paint. All right, and the same thing, but this is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to give it a little bit of water, but very, very thin. All right. In fact, I'm even going to use my little, my little brush on this and take some of that burnt umber. We're not really looking for a red. We're not going to color your skin, by the way. We're gonna, we just want to give a little bit of color on his lips there. Just a little bit of color. You see that? I don't know if that shows up good on camera or not, but it's not really a red. A little bit on his nose, maybe. A 
this gives a little bit of a flush on him. If it was a whiter wood, it would really pop more. That's about it. Like I said, the woods the woods pretty dark, but it'll come. Yeah. All right. Can you see that at all? I can see it with my eyes, so everyone's dry. Okay, we need our little uh white here. I'm gonna take my little stylus thing my bob or jiggy right here. I'm going to do a fairly big big dot here. On there. On there. Yep. Now we could call this guy painted, but we could either dry brush the hair a little bit or the jacket. And I think we might do the jacket. We don't have to do anything crazy, but maybe we'll just give a little bit of that brown there. We'll just wet that up and then pat most of it out on a paper towel. We're just going to. Darken up the uh, the facets there. See that? A little bit of dry brushing. Right, pat it dry. Give it a little bit more of a worn look. I know that camera's not going to pick that up very good, but I can see it. Just catching all the the facets of the jacket. Very subtle, but that's about all we need. All right, should we give him a little bit of yellow on his hair? Might as well, eh? Let me pick a yellow, and then we'll just dry brush a little bit out of his hair. School bus yellow. I wonder what school bus yellow is going to do to his head. This could be the could be the way that Doug ruined his carving. Hmm. Get that nice and wet, and then just kind of brush it right off. Use my little thing. All right, here goes nothing. A little bit of color appearing there. So the more scoopy cuts I would have made on that carving, the more facets the, the color would have caught. But it's all something. That's interesting. I wouldn't say it ruined it at all. Can you see that? A little bit of yellow in there. Huh. All right. I should leave him alone and quit playing with him. There we go. One more step left.
All right, well, again, there's our little guy. One step left to do, and this is one of my newer things I've been doing, is Howard's Feed and Wax. It's a real fun product, and I just, uh, I keep it wet. It doesn't really dry up too much. I just keep that open. It doesn't uh, do anything, so just put a couple little gobs in there. And I put that on with this old brush here. Just put it on. It's not a shine. It has a beeswax in it. Well, that's what it is. It's a. It's a, it's called wood wood polish and conditioner, but it's beeswax and orange oil. So I just rub that on there with the brush everywhere. All right, and ideally. I'm not going to do it today for the video, but ideally I would uh, let that dry, wipe out the excess and let it dry overnight. But what I'm going to do, for the video anyway, is I'm just going to take as much off as I can and just pretend that I let this dry overnight. And then in the morning I take a Got my old shoe brush here. You can use any kind of a cotton rag or cloth, but keep it a dedicated one because I used this brush last night when I was carving him and I went over it and I put this wax on. Once you put the beeswax on, the paint will not penetrate the beeswax. So keep a dedicated brush and then when it's dry, you just buff it all out. And I'm telling you, it has such a nice finish. It almost feels like a soft sanding sealer feel to it. It's not shiny and it's not dull. But of course it's not dry, but that's uh that's what we got here. But the the ever evolving uh way of painting, if you go back in my old videos, you'll see like a hillbilly video or whatever, I would paint the paint on dry wood, I'd paint on solid. I take an antiquing solution, gob antiquing solution, all over it, and uh, yeah, color done. But this way, with the brush to it, it takes out all the all little, every little crack and stuff. But now, it's a totally different look, and it's like, to me, it's a cleaner look, and it's a better look. Alright, so, that is our little man completed. All right, now I made the the carving of this video to uh, replace an older video, and I put that video out actually this morning. And uh, consensus says don't delete your old videos. A lot, a lot of people said leave the video up, so I will leave the video up, and I will just add the carving and the painting of this video without deleting their. Uh, the originals so little man painted in my style of today it may evolve and change but overall i'm i'm happy with that look it's a different look a nice clean look and uh yeah i like it so the big change is uh the howard's feed and wax really and the uh the dry brushing so Clean up your rags if you use linseed oil, don't forget. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.